Welcome back to Fast Ship Performance then. My name is Tim Davies and today we're gonna to get in my little Hawk T1 at RF Valley. We're gonna get airborne, we're gonna do some aerobatics, we're gonna do a practice force landing at Clambetta Airfield before climbing up there to flight level 200, going through an airway, descending over Swansea and then joining downwind for runway 26 at St. Anthony. All right, guys, so before I do that, I've got to do some work. Um, what I'm going to do is get a, a little map out called a UKL2, and I'm probably going to have a look at range, so the range St. Athens, so I can work out what height to climb to. I would do that for real. I'm going to climb to flight level 200. I'll also draw a line on that map, so in case any kit I had in the jet or the radios failed, I can use the TACAN just to know where I am and I can get in. The other thing I'm going to do is do some research on St. Athens then. Uh, I've got something here called terminal approach plates, and I'll try and put a copy on the screen now. Boom. So we can see then the height of the airfield is only 163 feet, that's the top left hand corner there. We've got all the frequencies across the top. You can see the runway is about 6,000 foot and the one I'm getting off today is 5,3 so I'm going to be okay, 5,300 feet. We are going to land on runway 26 and we're going to join downwind on that runway because on a map I'll try and show you now, there's a zone of Cardiff right next to it and we can't, we can't penetrate that zone. Well, like we can, we have to ask them first, it's a hassle. So I can't come in and do a run and a break like I normally would, okay? Also, there's an issue. If we look down the very bottom of here at uh, point two, it says fast jet circuits are at 1300 feet QFE. Now, today their QFE is 1023, Valley is 1020, and the QNH, or the RPS, regional pressure setting, out here is normally about four millibars less than Valley. So it's going to be around about uh, 1016. That's what I'm going to use today for my aerobatics and for my, uh, well, for the aerobatics, really. And I'll be, on the, I'll be on the standard pressure setting of 1013 when I'm in the upper air. We will be speaking to air traffic the whole time. Um, and basically, I think the key for this is just to get airborne, guys. Um, get out there, really, and just see what this is all like. Right, I am wearing this thing today. Some of yous, oh, where is it going? Are going to be like, no, don't do that, Davies. You're going to make me sick. It's like, really, it's going to make you sick, is it? It's going to make you sick watching this, not you sick flying with this on. Okay, I just want to clarify those points because this can make me nauseous, but I'm double R'd, so it should be all right. And then, <laughs> how you feeling now? How you feeling now? Yeah? A little bit volatile, a little bit volatile. I'm just going to put it on, we're going to get in, we'll do the pre-takeoffs, take off emergency brief for this runway, uh, and then we will uh, get airborne and climb out above the weather, push down to the clin for our first serial, which is um, aerobatics. And I'll talk to you really in the climb and in that little transit bit there, it's not very far away, about what we're going to be doing, okay? So, get in my box, in my zone. All right, here we do it. Here we do it. Ah, oh, oh. Right, sort your position out. Let's have a look. So I'm going to be over here. Kind of thing, bit high, bit high, probably about there. Looks reasonable. Okay, so I've got jet noise in the ear. Uh, we, in reality, guys, we're probably a bit closer like this, but we're going to use this for the moment. Now, pre takeoffs, then for us, uh, what we do, we go, remember we, what they are, they are zero here, neutral, neutral, that will be on already. Pito on, anti skid is on, fuel over here, then 1050, that's good for us today, what we're going to be doing. Uh, we want mid flap, selected, watch it, watch it, and indicates at mid, okay? Selected and indicates at mid. You can see that down there. Oh, yeah, thank you. We'll be on, st oh, I'll be, it'll be ground to tower. It's fine, happy. Preset, we're on there. Uh, it'll be PSP, uh, connected, uh, harness tight and locks, and then we'll be looked at um, leg strengths also connected for take of emergencies brief. Got the lights here as well. Up tonight, well, I'm on a long runway, not a long runway, 5.3 runway, but it's got a good barrier at the end of 75 um, knots to enter that barrier. And also remember, uh, we, are, um, we have got 20 knots headwind as well, so I'll talk about that as well in a second. Ooh. So we'll say then up to 90 knots, we're going to abort for anything. 90 through the gear selected up, I'm going to abort for a top line red, red hide, hide oil surge, oil down here. Um, I will also uh, abort for uh, any kind of burst strike, anything like that, okay? But from gear selected up until 250 knots, okay? I, not much I can do. All I'm going to do is get myself a positive vector, attempt to do any relight I possibly can, anything like that. But I can't turn. I haven't got enough speed, okay? I'll probably glide at 180 knots. That looks like this, okay? And if I do have to do an engine relight, then the throttle here, I'll do a touch drill. We'll come back to there, and I would do this for real. Um, it will come HP off, I'd lift it up, back, slam it back, holding that button on there, move it forwards until it goes click, okay, and then I'll check that my GTS is coming up and I'll look for these instruments to start accelerating as well, okay. 
There's every chance today that, um, I mean, we're getting airborne with a reasonably low cloud base over a beach, so we've got to be careful. Look, there's this dude again. He's a bane of my life. What are you doing, mate? You're having a mare. Oh, legend. Look at this guy. Oh, I love this dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, hopefully he's going to get out of the way, else his tape's not going to be too good, is it? Okay. Well, he's going to do his thing there. He's crazy. Uh, right, okay. And then anything above uh, 250 to 300, 250, then I'll set the bug. I'll set the runway here. But I'll set the bug for, uh, I'll come left above 250, for runway 31, but this is 135, 145 to give me some space against the wind, which is 220, about 20 knots. I won't take a fire or a start caption into the barrier. And I will, look at this crazy fool, man. This is awesome. This guy's, oh yeah, he's churning up. Look at that. Ah, oh, this is, maybe she get everyone before he comes into me. Um, because else we burn to death and the barrier entry speed is 75 plus the 20 knots which is 95 plus the 10 for a thousand to go which is as we know about 105 with a thousand to go okay uh, Vital Victor 6-1 ready for departure uh, Victor 6-1 clear takeoff uh, wind is 220 20, 20 knots uh, takeoff Victor 6-1 right slam checks guys uh, squawk we do here lights that will come on there altimetry is 1020 main and standby mass is live and power watching that guy he's going to eat us any last thing i check is that uh the approach path was clear i do have mid flap my seat was live and i have clearance okay that's it rolling rolling well he better not you better get my way else it's a bit of rubbish tape oi oi look at this dude what are you doing mate jesus 50 knots speed's good 90 knots then knows what comes up might as well look at 120 she flies, positive rate of climb, one and two, gear travels, flaps travel, eight to ten guys, eight to ten, eight to ten, gears up by 200, flaps up by 200, power is clear, back to six degrees, Victor six one to stud three, put six one, cancel those, stud three, valley radar, Victor six one in the climb with you, uh, Victor six one, Roger, what kind of service do you require, uh, Victor six one, a traffic service, uh, apologies, deconfliction service, Victor six one, Roger, squawk three, four, five, three, Three four five three Victor six one Roger right holding the attitude holding the attitude holding the attitude clear above so I'll look down here set my score Victor six one squawking Victor six one you're identified uh, deconfliction service what uh, height do you wish to climb to uh, Victor six one I'm just going to be climbing to Victor Mike please and then I'll be doing some aerobatics over the Klimt Peninsula before uh, en route to St Atham. Uh, roger that 6-1 would you like to hold a traffic service during your aerobatics uh, six one uh, roger that would be great thank you roger six one now what air traffic means guys notice how careful i am in my head i'm using that instrument in the center here as my primary 350 knots i'm looking for the climb now we should get some good weather and if we don't get aerobatics here guys this is real weather of course for valley which is pretty standard oh it's layered then we know we can do aerobatics down south over St. Athens, okay? So don't worry about it if you can't do them here. So I'm going to hold on to 1016, uh, 1016 I'm going to set on here. People forget sometimes. There's no checks really. At that, look at that. Okay, so, oh, I'm using my left hand to fly now, guys. There's no checks really to tell you to put the, the, the region on, but I just you, know, you have to remember. I should end up doing aerobatics on the QFV and has been done many a time. Well, I'm in some gaps, aren't I? Now, guys, I've got a map here somewhere, which is really going to flummox me. 350 knots in. That's what I'm going to climb at. I'm just going to keep climbing at the moment. Ah, I might actually find some gaps. So let's just fly at 350 knots. And about 7,000 feet, something like that. Whilst I cruise over to the Clin, I'm just going to set the map up so you can see what I'm talking about. Trim, trim, trim. Top of climb checks. Fuel is 1,000. Oxygen is this thing here, guys. Hold on. Oh, this thing here. Winking and blinking, showing that I'm actually breathing in my mask. Engine is looking good today. These figures here look pretty good. And location then, approaching the Clint Peninsula, which is down there. Stand by, I've got to pick up a controller, guys. Oi, dolly in there. There we go. So guys, let's pause, shall we? Just see if I can pause this and have a chat. Ah, the map. Right, here we go. So what we're doing then, guys, is we're going to, uh, this is the Clint Peninsula here, and I know it's not a great map, but I do apologise. We want to come down the south bit here to Aero's Beach if we can. Then what we're going to do is mess the map up with my mouse. How do I move this? Oh, I know how I do it. Yeah. Then we go down to Clambetta here. Delta 201 is a range complex we don't want to go in, and it's in this area here. So we're going to, from Aero's Beach, come directly over here on about 120, try and find um, Clambetta at low level, okay? Oh, man. 
Right, so really I'm just going to come right a little bit, see if I can find some gaps in the cloud and then try and work out what, um, what height I can do these areas at because you don't really want to do them above 7,000. We will, of course, because we're legends, but you don't really want to. Shibidoo. So 8,000 feet sounds pretty good because I can't bother to change it to seven. So we'll just come over this way. Now, guys, we do aerobatics. It's a visual IF mix, okay, which means we do use the main instrument there, which is the AI. Uh, Victor 61 level 8,000, Victor 61, Roger. Um, radar, stay with radar here. I could probably go to approach on sub five, but if radar's happy, and there's no other traffic really today, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, when I get my beach, and I find my beach, guys, I'm going to um, put my course bar on that heading, okay? So I've got a reference for the actual line feature itself, and what I'll do is I'll be using this main instrument here, and I'll use this altimeter here, we have a rule as well, if you do go below the height that you've nominated as your base height, you terminate that manoeuvre, you get back above it before you start the next one. And what we're going to look at today is the loop, we'll look at power settings, we'll look at the amount of G we're using, we'll look at a slow roll, shudder, that's a nightmare for every pilot. We'll also look at, uh, I don't think I'm going to have the weather here, am I? We'll push south. We'll push south a little bit anyway. Let's explore. Uh, we'll, we'll look for... Uh, power, yes, attitude, course, all those other things. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, speak to the radar and just see whether 201 is active. Uh, Valley radar, is uh, Delta 201 range area active? Uh, negative 201 is not active today, you are cleared into Delta 201. Uh, Roger that. Cleared in Delta 201, Victor 61. And my call sign was Victor 61, it's actually Victor Yankee Tango 61 for an RF Valley call sign. The station commander was always Victor 01. And the boss of 208 squadron was always Victor 08. Boss of 4, was Victor 04. You get it. I mean, it's not difficult. So if you're doing circuits at an airfield and Victor 01 pitched up, you go home, guys. You go home. Okay? Because you don't want <laughs> the station commander seeing you doing circuit work. That is not a good thing to happen. Right, so really, I'm going to have to come left and see whether I can come over to Clan better. So good look out, good power, and up here really, you know, you've, you've got to turn the jet on its side, but you don't want to be too forceful with it really. So about one, two, zero. Flight path is good then, looking flight path. The dead wing's good, because that's where the dead people live. Check the dead wing, because that's where the dead people, and you're actively searching for other aircraft out here because there are, Victor 61's coming left onto one, two, zero, uh, inbound Clan Better this time. Victor 61, roger. Now Clan Better, we don't tend to use any more. I don't know where they started using it. I think they're going to use it. It was a relief landing ground for us, and we didn't never really put jets there. We just did some circuits there. I had a friend who hit a swan there. Hit a swan, collapsed his nose wheel, and he had to land uh, with a nose wheel up. And then he wrote a letter to the Queen saying, hey, sorry about the swan. She wrote back saying, don't worry, I've got plenty of others. Right. She didn't actually say that, by the way, but she did write back. Although she has got plenty of others. But she hasn't got a pheasant like me, has she? No. If she wants a pheasant, she can definitely have mine. So I'm going to really try and... You can see us down here. Let's, I'm just going to get the pointer out again. Okay, how do I move the map? Oh, yeah. So climate is up here, and I'm just not going to bother going there if I can't, guys. It's, it, if I can't get a cloud break somewhere to do a PFL, then... Uh, let's have a look. Let's come left. Uh, Victor zero, zero coming left onto uh, east. Victor six zero, Roger. The traffic service, you've got to tell them what you're doing. Deconfliction, you've got to request it. Good look out all around, guys. Fuel is about 9.50. It's good. Oxygen, winking and blinking. Engine looks good. And location, never really sure in the T1, to be honest with you. Oh. That is das. Yeah, I, I think actually today, look how tedious this sort is. I don't think we're going to get our PFL in, so I might do the PFL at St. Athen. But we've got a real, world, real weather, guys, haven't we? Real weather. I'm looking out. Yeah, I wonder. It could be, actually. We might just be able to. I'm not going to know, am I, unless I'm over there. Let's have a look, because we can see Snowdonia are. Let's have a look, shall we? And Victor 61 coming left onto. Uh, let's have a look. Left onto north, Victor 61. Victor 61, Roger. 
He's just bored of me now. Okay, and if we can't, if we actually over it, and I can't get down, then I'm not going to bother. So I'll use a bit of power. 0.7 in the flyer. Flight path is good, guys. Dead wing's good! There's a gap down there. We don't dive for gaps around here, guys, because there's all sorts of like masts and mountains and all sorts of crazy things. So I'm not going to get out of this cloud break. Right, let's do a sensible thing then, guys. If there's any doubt, there is no doubt. Let's get out. Actually, that is a cloud break. That is a C. And Victor 6 1, happy uh, to go on route in the descent. Victor 6 1, Roger. Right. And uh, radar, Victor 6 1, I will call you back up again when I need to climb out of climb radar. Roger 6 1. So, guys, I'm not diving down for that. I'm just going to do an orbit first before I look at that hole. It's sensible. Air brake out. We are on 1016, which is good. There's a lot of head movement, guys, because it's dynamic. No, look, guys. I'm below the height I need to be at for the PFL, so I can't do it. So I'm not going to bother. Right, let's come left on to uh, one two, about one five zero. I'm going to stabilise on. Air brakes coming in. And Valley Radar Victor six one. I'm looking for a climb now. And I'm heading of one five zero uh, to flight level two hundred for crossing the Lima nine down into St Athens. Uh, Victor six one, Roger. Uh, Victor six one. I hold the same scorp. Then I'll contact Swanick for you. You are clear climb. Flight level two hundred on a heading of one five zero. Clear climb. Flight level two hundred on a heading of one five zero. Victor six one. Bugged, 150. Clear above, three, well, we are high speed, so that's fine. There's 150. And you're about 10 degrees nose up. I'm going to go a bit more because I want to climb at 350. So 15 degrees will allow the speed to come back. I've got a traffic service, guys. I can be fully on instruments now, but I'll still look out, obviously. Sorry about the initial boring part of that saucy. 350, resetting attitude, then about six degrees. And he will clear to me the flight level, so you need to set the standard pressure setting, which is 1013. So, stabilizing there. Oh, where's my cursor? This is not easy on, it's not easy just to do this. It's not easy to do it in the aircraft anyway, guys, let alone trying to do it on VR and stuff. Oh, that's sick. If you want to look away, you can. Oh, oh, that's right, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm almost there. Oh. Okay, back in the room, back in the room. Right, so we will transition into a climb of 0.73 as well at some point, guys, and that's going to be um, a mark number. Oh, right, good. And that's normally around about 13,000, 14,000 feet. So I'm looking at the combined speed indicator, this instrument here. And it, no matter how much I trim this aircraft, she never stays trimmed in roll. It's just, uh, it just does not. So I'll look now. Okay, look away. Oh, goodness me. Okay, look back. So pretty soon then we'll be looking at that. And what I'm going to do with, I need to do my map now as well. Because there is an airway I want to, I want to uh, cross in a minute. I want to show you how we cross airways. Right, get my pointer out. <sighs> right, we're going down here. Oh, don't tell me there's no map. There better be a map. That's not going to kick off. Right, we're going to go down here, Lima 9, out the bottom, descend down with um, initially Swanick until we get to around about 6,000 feet. They'll hand us over to Cardiff Zone, and then Cardiff Zone will uh, take us into St. Athens before I change St. Athens Tower. And the problem with VR is, every time I want to look at the frequency, I've got to go, take that off, I've got to go, uh, uh, uh. Oh. So it's a nightmare. But it's pretty. Okay, that's uh, 17 number 200. Uh, Victor 60, can you contact Swanick Military please on stud 9? Uh, Swanick Mill on stud 9, Victor 61, confirm. Yeah, Victor 61, confirm, apologies. Roger that. Just enough mistakes from air traffic. Although I'm actually playing air traffic, so it's a mistake from me. Brilliant. Well done, Davies. Okay, sub nine. Listen out on the frequency first, because you don't want to step on anyone's transmissions. And I'm going to want to come on to south pretty soon. So level first, aviate, navigate, communicate. You haven't got to contact them straight away. They, they know you're there. And if they, if they do get bored, they just say, oh, Victor 61, you're on freak yet? You're on frequency yet? Leveling. Okay, happy. Level, 
power's good, I'll let it build a little bit and then I'll bring the throttle back. Sonic Military Victor 6-1, level, flight level 200, uh, with you requesting a traffic service. A Vic 6-1, a traffic service, so what heading do you require? A Vic 6-1 or requesting uh, uh, to come right on the south. Come right on the south, Vic 6-1. Clear out, well I don't need to look necessarily. Now we're procedural flying. Now uh, guys, I'd be told off a high keeping probably at this point. I'll tell myself off anyway. But this is a nightmare. Bug it, Davies. Oh, don't bug it then. Flight part is good, guys, isn't it? Dead, part, dead wing's good. Right, sort lots of things out. Let's sort that out. Set of power. Set the ball. Oh, this is so sensitive and pitch and roll and everything. Uh, I'm going to DCS next week, guys. Nothing to do with X-Plane being bad or nothing. Well, I'll struggle with this. Um, DCS called me up and said, Tim, we watched one of your videos and we realised what a great pilot you are and also maybe say how good looking. So there is that, of course. We'd like you to come across uh, to DCS and we'll give you an F5 to start with and maybe a Spitfire. I was like, yeah, bring it. I don't mind that at all. Guys, we're always trying to get ahead of the game. There's 0.7 there, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, 0 0.7. So we fly 0 0.7, 0 0.73. Oh, if anyone else is flying Hawk and X-Plane, are you struggling as much with the roll and the pitch as me? A bad pilot always blames his tools. Or other pilots. Yeah. Right, so flying at 20,000 or flight level 202, there, is, there isn't such a thing, but that's fine. Makes you feel happy. You want to get ahead of the game. So what do we say we're going to land on? We're going to land on runway 26. What do we do with the heading bar, guys? Might as well set it for 2.6 now. I'm not using it for anything else, are we? Might use it for aeros, but right now, if I get rushed at the bottom or have an engine failure or something, it's nice to have that already in place. Downwind heading we can set as well, guys, can't we? So the wind down there is pretty similar to what it is up north. Um, have a look at the Metar in a second again. But we know it's south east southwesterly, so what we're going to do with that is set that bug for... Um, where are we? Set it for the reciprocal. And there are some corridors down here that they fly UAVs out of, and I can't remember the name of them, but I will ask if they're active. It might be, the, the, what is it, 203? I can't remember now. But I would probably ask if they were active. They're on the map as well. And today they've told me that they're on. And at some point, of course, I'm going to approach this airway, and I will have to, uh, oh, I hope I don't run out of map. That would just be a real pain. That would be, be cruel. It would be like, come on, can I get any more map? No, I can't. Oh, right, I know where it is, roughly. I'll find it. I'm a legend. Depressing. Depressing. So now I need to really use my visual nav. I think I'm too far inside for that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I know I can get different maps, guys. But I'm going to DCS anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, actually, I'm looking all right, I think, for that. To send over the sea, come left. So I should recognise the area. I should recognise the area. So, if you are approaching the airway and they haven't said anything, guys, then just pipe up and just ask them, okay? So I'm just going to fly this at the moment south. So I would be approaching the airway now, most probably. So I'd just say, um, uh, Victor 6-1 approaching the Lima 9. And they'll say, uh, Roger, Victor 6-1. Uh, Victor 6-1, you are approaching the Lima 9 at flight level 200, radar control. Radar control, Victor 6-1. What that means is you do what they tell you, unless you have an engine failure or something like that, because you're in, a, you're in an airway. You're crossing the airway at right angles. That's cool, the gang, but you're in the airway, okay? I could actually be hunting for some Athen here, and this is not what I wanted to do. If I close and reopen that map again, do you reckon it will give me... No, probably not. I know I can use another map real time with iPads and stuff, guys, but you know, as I said, I'm gonna go DCS. I'll come back to this and keep flying, and I will sort that stuff out later. Let's just close that map now, shall we, and see if it does any difference. Really important that we hold our um, heights crossing an airway, guys. In fact, let's just pause, shall we? <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny. I'll tell you what's funny. I'll tell you what is funny. Apart from my pheasant. My pheasant is hysterical. You get immersed in this. It's quite realistic. I've done this several times. And so what happens is... I end up not bothering to pause or anything because, because you can't pause in real life, not in the, not in the jet. 
You know what I mean? You can't do it, can you? What I'm going to do now, guys, is just try and look at that um, map. See what I can do with this. So let's let's just let's just stop it, shall we? Let's stop it. Let's. How do you turn the map off? Oh, there we go. What's that button do? Now, reset the pilot view. Is that no? I don't do that. Show map. Ah, that is that. Legiones. Yeah, I'm well inside because what's happening here is um, I want to go to that airfield there. That's Cardiff, so I need a heading. I need a heading change. So I'm going to come because I would normally just send over here. This is the range area, or and come down here basically in, in, in that way. So I want to be coming over this. Do I want to be going? In? No, I don't want to be going over there. Oh, I could. That's Swansea there, Pembrey. So what I, I would normally come over Swansea and then come across. I'm inside today. I don't mind that. What I'm going to do is just take a slight. In fact, no, I'm going to stay on there. I'm going to come right about 10 degrees. They're going to hate me for that, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll keep on this heading, and then when I get some control, I'll just probably nudge myself over, give myself some space before I come in for this runway. And in fact, looking at this, then we can do some aerobatics here. One of these beaches here, do some aerobatics. And I'll speak to. Uh, Probably Swanwick or whatever, Cardiff Zone maybe, um, to do that. Okay, that's good. Cool. Let's um, let's do some more flyingizationism, shall we? You think you're bored? This is why the aircraft I'm building with Aerolis will have cup holders. Because it is a, it is 2020, isn't it? Because then I could go right. What's my cabin altitude? That looks reasonable. Look, 9,000 feet. Let's get drink on. And by that, I mean a cup of tea, guys, okay? Not get smashed up on 19 lagers. That's not a bad thing. That's a bad thing to do, sorry, in the airplane. Right, so over there, then, you can see Swansea, guys, um, here, okay? The range complex. And then down here is where we're heading, over here somewhere, I don't know. Uh, look at the map. Right about here, we're going. I think Cardiff is over there. Yeah, the visuals aren't that great, are they? With um, X-Plane well, and VR as well. Right, we'll be descending uh, pretty soon. Uh, Victor 61, you are clear of the Lima 9. What, um, traffic, what service do you require? Uh, Victor 61, traffic service. Traffic service, Victor 61. Okay, so traffic service we've got. And Victor 61 requesting a right turn on to 210. Uh, Victor 61, uh, you're cleared right on to 210. I don't need to ask them, but you know, they get a bit funny. Swanick. They're good people, they've happened out loads of times. Air traffic legends. So, what we're doing is come over here, 210. Flight path is good, of course, it's good. Oh, Red Devon is good. So I'm going to start my descent now, pretty much. You would descend at uh, a range of one and, time, one and a half times your height. So 20,000 mi 20, feet, I'd descend at about 30 miles. And of course, I don't know 30, what 30 miles is because I haven't got a moving map. Although that is a moving map, there's no ranges on it. So I'll just descend. And Victor 61, looking for a descent in one mic. Victor 61, Roger. But we have to do some pre descent checks, guys, okay? So we have to do fuel is 950. That would be a bit lower today, a bit lower for real. Instruments are reckoned synchronized on 1013. Uh, radios are good where we are, and I might prep some frequencies up for like Cardiff Zone or something, you know, anything like that. I just have them written down on my leg. And then the yeah, altimetry is good, 1013, and uh, DMIS not required. Victor 61, ready for descent. Victor 61, set 1016. 1016, Victor 61. Now, I haven't said I'll set it, I've said I'm going to set it. Come on. Uh, Victor 61, 1016 set. Victor 61, descend to 4,000 feet on 1016. Victor 61, 4,000, 1016. Idle. Okay. Now, we're going over there somewhere, guys. So I don't want to cramp our style here. But let me look at my map. Yeah, we're good. We're good on this heading. Because it gives me some play time. Now, there's a beach over there, but I'm a bit worried about the population density on the south coast. So, I need a line feature. Yeah, that beach there could be good, couldn't it? Let's have a look. I don't need a beach, by the way. I, I could use a road. Yeah, that beach there is pretty good. I'll use that. So, and you can use air brake if you want on the descent. You don't have to. 
I will actually because I'm high, so air brake travels. And you probably hold either 350 knots in the descent. I think the wind's from the south today, so I'll take that into account with the aerobatics and give myself some space. I'll just keep the descent going and then I'll, I'll sort it out. I'm actually going to level about 5,000 feet because um, that's going to be my base site today at 1016. So whilst I'm doing that, I can do some hazels. But I want to get myself set up. Hazel checks are your pre aerobatics checks. I want to get myself set up nicely first. See what the air brake does without the air brake, guys. Holding 350 knots without an air brake, air brake comes in. I'll have to fly about 10 degrees nose down. That's going to, descend my, that's going to extend my descent, isn't it? I don't get down that quickly because I want to hold 350 knots. And you'll see on the VSI, it's about like this. The VSI give me about 3,000 foot per minute, something like that down there, 4,000. With an air brake, I would do heights in the descent, just talking to you guys. It's a bit more brutal. Six, leveling five. Victor six one, leveling 5,000 feet. Uh, Victor six one, Roger. Uh, Victor six one, tensions. Uh, Victor six one, my intentions are to go on route now, please. I'll hold a service with um, Cardiff, and then I'm going to do some aerobatics on the south coast for recovering in descent nothing. Roger six one, um, are you happy to free call Cardiff? I'll free call Cardiff, happy. Victor six one. Roger that, Victor six one, en route. Uh, Victor six one, en route, Roger. One zero one six, happy. Now we can do it all one. So get the head out, guys. Get the head out. Good power. Now I want to have a good look out. Weather is what I'm doing. So height then for aerobatics. I'm going to use 5,000 feet today, which is good as a base height. Uh, my let's have a look. Come over there. Good beats there. Airframe. Okay, we are clean. Gear is up. Flap is up. We don't have any air brake. Travels indicates back in. Security then. I would be tight in locks to my harness. Engine. Flight pass good, good, looking good. Engine looking good in the figures, all stable. And I would go, let's have a look. Locations, we are at uh, clear of active areas, built up areas, controlled airspace and cloud. And no, oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no danger areas. So we'll start off with a loop then, guys. So I'll try and set myself. I would go to Cardiff first, probably. I don't know what their frequency is though. I can't do it, it's too difficult on VR. I want to run in at 3.30, guys. So try and fly as accurate as possible. So that's my line feature. Flight path, good, dead wing, good. Course bar, I need to set that course bar. Oh, come on. There, good. Right, 5,000 feet, Davies. And we're running, inverted. So clear above, about five degrees, those up, pause, roll, bang. About one, minus one G, minus one G, minus one G, there it is. Minus one G, minus one G. Yeah, reasonable line feature. Houses down, they don't know. Reasonable line feature. All caption will, will come on after 10 seconds, and that's when you need to stop it. Pause. Okay, clear above. Full power. A little bit high speed going in. I want 4G in the climb. 5,000 feet. 4G in the climb. I'm going for a half Cuban first, guys, to get back under my line feature. Clear, good. Out the top, the canopy is what I'm looking for. When I come through the horizon, I'm setting 90%. Clear, looking over the top, 90% coming back now. Visually judged, that's nicely. Down to 45 degrees. Pause, roll, pause. Now, 30, I want to be one, uh, 30 degrees, I want to be one above. So I'm going to use idle. No, I'm not going to use air brake. So actually, I think it's 60 degrees on that. We'll do that again. I forgot how to do that. So 6,000 for five. We're going to do one of these again, guys. I think it's 60 degrees those down, if I correctly. Air brake in, roger that. Clear above, full power, 4G. Accelerometer, wings level, 4G, clear above, 4G. Keep those, get that 4G on. Horizon check, keep the 4G on. 60 degrees nose down I want before I roll now for a half, uh, half Q and eight, my bad. It's only been eight, nine years since I've done this. 90%, 60 degrees, bang, roll. Bang, nearest horizon, pull. 60 degrees, I want 30, I want seven, that's nice. Six then for five. Nice speed, and I'm going to readjust my line now as well, because I'm. You can see the wind is blowing me in, in. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do a turn here, 500. I'm lose that 500 feet in the turn. Full power. Visually judged, guys. E2 on the horizon. That's that compass there on the horizon. Feels good for 900. Come on, Davies, don't go below five. So this this is good. It's getting back on my line feature, and you can do this in an area sequence. I'll do the full Central Flying School one soon, but it's a bit of a mare. Right. Flight paths, good guys. Dead wings, good. Uh, what haven't we done? Oh, let's, so this is genuinely, you're like, air brake, I'm getting back on speed. Tell your instructor, I'm getting back on speed. Roger that, 
what we can do then. We're going to do a barrel roll with no features to look at. Full power, air brakes coming in, 5,000 there, clear above. Right, 4G, 4G until that 45 grows up. Happy, pick a line feature. Yes, I've got, I've got a field out there somewhere. I've got a field, got a field, fly to the field. Wings, level as you come through the horizon there. 90%, you've got 90%, back down to 45 degrees on the AI. There we go, start that roll again, and now you're playing. You want to be 7,000 to start recovering from this. There we, that's nice, seven now, six at 30. So I'm nice and early on that, but too early though, okay? We'll do a loop. 5,000, clear above, 4G. Anything more than 4G, guys, you'll just have too much drag on the airplane. 4G, 4G, keep looking out top. Look out, nice shoulder check. I'm off a line feature. Hard to correct for that, 90% there, and that's 10,000. So I'm actually, I didn't fly that very well. It should be plus four and a half, but I'm plus five. I need to fly that better. And you can see I get blown again. So now I want to be 7,000 at this point there. Seven at 60. Six at 30, that's nice. Air brake. Oh, I've gone under it. Ah, I hate this little airplane. I don't actually, it's quite good. What else? I don't know what else to do. Oh, slow roll. Let's do one slow roll then. That's 300 knots. Right, so now slow roll. Bring the nose up. Pause. Roll. Feed in top rudder, guys. And we are full top rudder here on the 90. Full. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ease the rudder off. Ease. Push. Push. Push to minus one. Ease. Swap it to the left rudder. Uh, no, nose drops. And that is a classic ending. Look at that. Below the horizon. Happens to everyone on slow rolls. Slow rolls totally suck. Let's go to St. Athens, shall we? Because I've got to actually um, render this tonight. Oh, the air brake was out as well. Brilliant, that's probably why. That's my excuse. Right, so we can descend now and I'll just free call Saints. Let's have a look, because uh, we're kind of get a bit close here. Yeah, this is White Cliffs. So let's, let's give ourselves some space, guys. In the descent, down about 3,000 feet. Idle, air brake for 3,000, that's five. I want to be around about there. Four. Dead wing. Control the descent. Three is nice, about here. Put the jet where you want the jet to be. 300 knots is good. So about 80 87% for should hold 300 knots. Right, so I'm just going to come left then, give myself some space, and I want to get some frequencies on board here. So I'm going to call up um, St. Athen. Now, because I'm, I'm a bit close, I'm not close, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to pretend that I've studded it, which means I put it on a stud here, okay? And I'm saying I'll put it on the stud eight or something like that, okay? So oh, how many hands do you need for this airplane? It's actually Cardiff Approach. Cardiff Approach, uh, Vic Yang Tango 6 1, um, request join. Apologies, request visual feed in for St. Athen, downwind runway 2 6. Uh, visual, uh, uh, Victor 6 1, Roger, just want a free call, St. Athen Tower, please, are really busy. Uh, Roger that, Vic 6 1. Vic 6 1, St. Athen Tower. Vic 6 1, Roger. Guys, look, see how, see how rush we get now? So I want to be runway 2 6, heading bug downwind. There it is. Oh, and it's around it somewhere, isn't it? It's left, isn't it? Yeah, I've got it. I'm visual with the field. The field is there on my nose. I'll just so I'm going to give myself an orbit. Okay, this is a hard airfield to join. It's not right. I'm not going to be a dick and say that. It's um, what I mean is you've got. Okay, let's just pause. I'll talk to you about it. Right, guys. Well, the thing about St. Athen is you've got um, you've got Cardiff zone. Oh, Cardiff zone is um, it's hot in here, by the way. Uh, Cardiff zone, oh, but it's my tea cold. Tea is cold. Nah, look, look. Keep calm and fly a hawk. My sister bought me that. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Right, so I am just going to put this down at the moment, just so you guys haven't got a wiggly picture or anything like that. Recovering into St. Athen then is going to take a bit of skill. Okay, I did take two instructors, two young instructors down there, and I did brief them on this. Normal circuits are flown at 1,000 feet. With St. Athen, you fly the circuit at 1,300 feet. Now, you need a 300-foot rollout point, so you need to be wings level, pointing at the runway at 300 feet, and you should be speed stable at about 130 knots, okay? Descending into 110 plus one knot per um, 100 kilograms of fuel remaining on the aircraft, okay? The problem is, on a normal circuit, you can set about five, six degrees nose down uh, in the aeroplane, and that will get you from 1,000 feet all the way around to 300 feet. And halfway around, you need to be 650. Why? Because 
1,000 minus 300 is 700, half of 700 is 350, add that to your 300, and now you get the height halfway round, which is 650. We've got 1,300 feet. So I've got 1,000 feet, half a 1,000 is 500. Now what I've got is um, 13 down into 300, and I actually wanna be at 800 feet halfway round, okay? 800 feet, I need, I'm gonna to need to get a bit more nose down, and that is problematic for me because I need to bring that power back further, and I'm not allowed to have less than 70% power on this airplane because the spool up time for the Turbo Mecca Adore 151 engine is too great for me to have anything less than about 70% on a, in a final turn. So what we're gonna do, guys, is gonna try and join downwind. The problem with joining downwind is you've gotta be at the right speed. So as I come into over the, over the beaches here, uh, St. Athen, I'm going to make my speed about 230 knots so I can really slow down and transit that speed in from about 300 or 350 that I'm doing. Idle air brake, throw the anchor out, get about 230, cruise in, beginning of the downwind then, I need to be 190 knots, okay? And that's really it, and then we're gonna land, aren't we? Um, what have we done? We haven't done a PFL. Let's do a circuit, then we'll do a PFL, and then I'll land, okay? Right, uh, I'm just gonna go and pretend St. Athens is studded. So let's get back in this jet. Yes, here we are. And for a real, guys, I would have stored this um, iPad thing here. Right, let me just zoom in eyes in, because obviously pre aerobatic you don't need this in your life, do you? There we go, makes it easier for me, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm just gonna give myself some space. Oh, where are we? Back in the room. So about 2,500 feet is good for me because what that's gonna do is allow me to um, see the airfield as well, it's always a bonus. I'll call up St. Athens now, 300 knots is good. So I'll go to a special stud, I'll pretend I've studied it on stud seven. Uh, St. Athens Tower, Victor 61 join from the west. Uh, Victor 61 join, uh, we're on runway 25, our cure fee today is uh, what, 102 something, I've forgotten what I said it was. Uh, Roger that, Victor 61. Right, guys, I did forget what I said it was actually. Let me just look at the meta very quickly. Pause. Cardiff, 1023. 1023. So, over here. And 56.1, you are clear, join for runway 26, uh, 1023, wind is from the south. Cool visual of the field. Victor, 61, roger. There's a the field there, so I'm visual now, so I'll just get down. And I mean, this could be tight, to be honest. I might shed a bit of speed off quickly. Oh, don't dip a wing. So I want to be down at 1300 feet. Of course, one thing I do have to do is set that one, zero, two, three. Oh, the hands are like a ninja. Yeah, one, zero, two, three, we'll do. Right, went around twice then because I'm not setting the key of feed. 230 knots is good though. See some speed stable. Give yourself time, don't rush in there. It's honestly, guys, I'd be able to reach with a hand when we had haptics or whatever and change that, but I'm moving. My cursor, gotta get cursor, I've gotta get cursor on it. It's a mayday, I tell you. Let's have a look. So 230 is good. Air brake can come in. 80% is good to hold 230 knots, so get that back. 78% downwind is what we want. And I wanna give some spacing as well on this runway because it's a bit difficult. Victor 61, visual with the field. Victor 61, Roger. So nicely separated on downwind, 1300 feet. Right. 2.30 we have, I need that to make 1.90 in a minute as I coast in. Come to idle. This jet doesn't like slowing down. I think the wind might be from the north. Hold on a second. Yeah, the wind is from uh, about 2.90, so it's slack enough for us today. That means it's pushing us away from the runway, guys. It's slack enough, okay? So give myself space. There's that tree line ahead of me, guys. This is, I can't really go past this. I'll point it out now. Right, look. Runway. 
I have not put any buildings on this runway. I should download some content. Someone will say, hey, Tim, download St. Athens. I'd be like, yeah, I could have done that before. To be honest, that's, that's, that would have been a great idea. I would be talking about barrier speed for this now because this runway is not long. It's about 6,000 feet. So I would say what barrier is. Um, but this is the thing here, guys. This, this line of trees up here, there's a pylons running through it as well somewhere, I think. Oh, you're sick. I'm sick. Everyone is sick together. Everyone is sick together. Um, there should be anyway. I thought I had the earth for this, but obviously don't. So I need to turn in before that. So normally, with the wind as it is, in this direction on the runway, I'd, I'd turn early anyway. So I'm going to turn out the diagonal. What does the diagonal mean? Well, it's so on this end of the runway. This, we're using this threshold here, but I'll use it on this one. So to show you, we're going to join up the far corner, this bit here, and we're going to join up this corner here. And that's where I'm going to turn. And I'll show you what that means. I'll try and pause it there if I can. We'll do one circuit, then we'll climb up. We'll do a PFL. Uh, what do we mean? Four, four and a half thousand, 2,500. Yeah, fine. Okay, we'll do a PFL. Which will probably go to Zast. Just leave it wrong. Uh, where's the pause button? Oh, God. 1,300. And Victor 61, downwind, touch and go. Victor 61, Roger. Air brake travels. Below 200. Speed below 200. Air brake in MI. Back. Good. Travels now. Feel for about 119 approach, flaps travel. Three is indicating, half lap indicating. Three for two, two below 10, honest tight and locked. I am a bit tight, but I'm hoping this wind's gonna be good for me. 150 minimum, so 1300. So diagonal, I wanna pause it there. Oh. Mm. Here we go. Cursor, now. <laughs> Top one there, guys. And you know what's funny, different eyes so if I shut left eye and right eye, that cursor's in a different place. All I'm saying is it's kind of this. So it's, if you, I don't even know which one's gonna come out, that one or that one, or it could be that one to that one. But that's when I reach that diagonal, I'm turning, okay? And I'm looking for 800 feet halfway around, all right? Ah, oh, pause button, right, what's that power? Yeah, okay. Okay, and there. Set the attitude, down flap, it's a bit deep. There we go, three greens, down flap. Victor, six one, final get down. Fit 61, there's the pylons. I can't cross the pylons, guys. Fit 61, uh, final gear down. Fit 61, Roger. Fit 61, clear, touch and go. Fit 61, Roger. Clear, touch and go. Let's have a look, guys. Coming around, looking for 300 feet. So it's not bad. I didn't even get a chance to notice my halfway round because I'm just gashing this. Three greens, down flap, toes are clear. But oh, there we go, with clearance. There's one red, I don't know what we're doing, the pappies. So I'm, so I'm hot on this approach for 119. Don't know what the barrier is down here, guys, by the way. 130 for 119. 130. Check kit close. And we're down nicely. Power. Bills. The aircraft will just fly again. Climbing. Positive climb. Gear travels. Flaps travel. Hold the attitude. You can see the winds from the north. Look, we're tracking down to the south now, so I'll have to track the runway heading. Gears up by 200. Flaps up. By, flap is not up, you see, guys. Look at the flap. Not up. So flap travels. Pansy pickle by me. Gears up, flaps up by 200, panel is clear. And Victor 61 uh, climbing up for a PFL. Victor 61, Roger. Right, so what we do, we want 180 knots, guys, so we'll climb at 180 knots. And a PFL, the PFL pattern is, uh, this is practicing a force landing, okay? So we'd be at 4,500 feet. This is a visual, what's called a visual force landing um, pattern. So we'd be 4,500 feet at the upwind threshold. It's about 5,000 feet up of the runway actually, but this jet doesn't seem to want to descend as much as other jets. Then we'll be 2,500 feet, something called low key. So it's high key, high key with intentions, low key with your, um, your gear down call, which is your finals call. And what that means is high key to touch and go, because you can't land off a PFL because you might be too fast. Um, and it'll be low key gear down. And then they clear us from the gear down call. There's four and a half thousand, put the jet where you want it. Put the jet where you want it, put the jet where you want it. Put the jet. So we're approaching high key now, so idle, air brake. Put the jet where you want it, at right angles. Here, below 200, air brake in, I'm black, gear travels. I'll use that extra speed I've got there. About 170, three goods indicating. 170 I want there. Victor 61, high key, touch and go. Victor 61, Roger, idle guys, idle at that point. Now you're tracking out, 170 is a good speed to hold. 165 to stay alive in the Hawk T2. We are at idle. I want that runway to be passing under the wing before I start turning, okay? It's about speed control, this. So I'm simulating I've lost an engine. Ah, oh, yeah, almost. 
simulating a Blossom engine. On height alone, I'm now coming left. I'm getting it blown out anyway, so I know that. So I want to be 2,500 feet, my next devolution, and that is at a point that I want to land at. I'm going to pause when I roll out, because I want to talk to you about that point, because it's not the threshold. If you try and land at the threshold, you're going to be killed. Simple as that. Right, happy, clear, stand by. Cursor, appear. Look, uh, so we've been over here, this bit here, four and a half thousand feet out idle with the gear down. Now we're here, this is our low key position. And around about a third of the way up the runway, so it's about here or here, it's where the, it's hard, because it turns out eye you're looking through it, isn't it? But either way, it's um, the area, of the, well, it's a third of the way up, guys. A third of the way up. Divide the runway into third, a third of the way up. That's where I want to be aiming for, because if I get it wrong, I've still got some runway. And if I get it right, I've still got some runway. Um, and then I want to be selecting my down flap, which will travel in about a second to bring that touchdown point further this way, okay? Chance of going into the barrier on one of these, if you do get it wrong, is high. So it would brief about barrier speed. Uh, there's Cardiff out here, by the way. And she's obviously operational with lots of um, civilian traffic, okay? So probably can't fly that many circuits at St. Athens. You would probably have to go somewhere else. But remember, Cardiff isn't the most active airfield in the world either. So you could probably ask Cardiff to go there and do circuits if you wanted, or just speak to Cardiff's zone. And they'd be like, yeah, crack on, dude, no worries. We'll let you know when a big airline is coming and you can get out of the way, okay? If you talk to people, they are there to help you out. You know, air traffickers want, want the experience of a guy in the circuit doing circuits. They want the experience of a guy doing an instrument approach. They need it for their currencies. If you can help them out, then do so, okay? So the next event for us then, and use next event, guys, it does happen quickly, doesn't it? Is 2,500 feet at this point here. Well, actually in a little bit. I, I think I'm in a good place here and I'm, I'm quite far out. So I'm gonna start turning early. And remember, I'm aiming for a third of the way up that, and as soon as I think I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna travel all my flap, all the way down here to down, and it would happen in a second for real, okay? And it will bring that touchdown point further in. And also, I can side slip the aircraft, but I won't side slip below 300 feet. Um, and also, if you can get away with not side slipping, that's a good thing to do, because you can get it wrong, okay? So, and from a PFL contract, we said last time, guys, by 300 feet then, I need to have my gear down and locked. My flap must be traveling. I need to be within 45 degrees of the runway and I need to be um, uh, less than 30 degrees angle of bank. Other round? Genuinely can't remember, too hot. And uh, I, said, I said in the last one, watch the last video. And I need clearance from air traffic to land as well. I think it's 30 degrees, within 30 degrees of the runway, 45 degree angle of bank with clearance, yeah. Oh, it's so hot. So I'm gonna start turning now a little bit early. Speed control, about 170. 160, something like that. Can't remember what it was in the T1. Floating nicely. Looking good. And assess it. Sightline picture looks good. Sightline picture looks good. Sightline picture good. I missed the low key call. 561, low key, gear down. Uh, Vic 61, clear touch and go. Uh, clear touch and go, Vic 61, because you get maxed out. And when you get maxed out, you forget to hear things and you can't repeat yourself and all that stuff. So when it starts coming towards me and accelerating, guys, it's pretty stationary right now. It's where the first bit of tarmac cabin is on the north side of the field is where I'm aiming for. So when it starts rushing towards me, I'll then travel flat. When I think I'm gonna go long, I think I'm gonna go long about now. I know how this aircraft glides with down flap. I'll travel, flap travels, nose down. Three greens indicating, down flap indicating, with clearance, 150 minimum, 150 minimum, 150 minimum, three greens, down flap, three for two, two below 10, toes clear, approaching 300 feet. We are in contract. We have got clearance, win from the right, happy. Looking good, looking good. There's two stages of flare here, guys. First stage, looking long, is now. Second stage, there's second stage. Hold it off, 130 knots minimum for touchdown. If you see the 3,000 board to go, then you are putting power on at 3,000 to go. Power's coming on now anyway, there's us down. That would have been a successful force landing. Positive right climb, now on one and two gear travels, flaps travel. Hold the attitude, hold the attitude, hold the attitude, hold the attitude. 160 then coming back. Gear is up by 200, flap is up by 200. There's 500 feet. There's 160 knots. I'm going to hold the aircraft now in the turn at 90%. Should now, 500 feet, should now. I'm going to try and pull quite hard here with a bit of power as well. Because I, need to, I don't want to get blown out too far. The aircraft should end up 190 knots at 1,000 feet. This is ninja hard, guys. Ninja hard. But I am a ninja, so it's all right. 190 we have, so we captured that. Fly to the heading bug, guys, fly to the heading bug. 1,000 feet, Davies, come on, set, 78%. 
dead wing. 56-1, downwind, land. 56-1. Speed below 200 then, air brake is in, and my black gear travels now, next to there. Fuel for 119 approach, half flap travels. Good spacing. Three greens indicating, half flap indicating, three for two, two below 10, harness tighten locks. 150 minimum dailies, we are 200 foot high. Put the jet where you want it to be. No head up display in this airplane. Right, there, no bananas. Put it down there, there we go. Down flap travels, nice accurate power set. Three greens, down flap. Victor 6-1, final gear down. Victor 6 one, cleared land. Victor 6 one. Now I've flown a circuit at a thousand feet there, guys, that's bad, but it doesn't matter. You can forget. Just don't tell our traffic. Because I'm used to flying circuits at a thousand feet and not 1,300. Three greens, down flap, with clearance. best circuit in the world but it'll do for a YouTube video won't it it'll do 130 into 119 119 come on toes clear 119 Davies where you go oh mate yay that counts totally yeah this jet does land <laughs> that's idle idle this jet is a bit funny with the speed actually right brakes nice light braking stick coming fully off then fully off that's nice speed is under control Steering with brakes, happy. Let the jet roll out. Let the jet roll out. Come off the brakes. Jets are really stable when you come off the brakes, okay? Happy. Right, mass weapons, that is. Just stand by, and then we'll come off here. Oh, God. I'm so looking forward to getting this mask off my face. Fit 6 1, active, vacate the ground. Fit 6 1, Roger, stay with me. Happy to shut down there. Roger 6 1. Oh. That was an effort. Right, where's the parking brake? We did work this out, didn't we? That's that one, I think. Let me just... No, there we go. Ah, oh, right, guys, I'm not going to shut down for you. In fact, I'll just turn the old peacock off and that will do it, won't it? If I can reach it. I need some air. Okay, right. Obviously, make sure before you do that, all the pins and everything's safe and go through all the checks in the correct order, okay? Don't just open the canopy like that. Guys, to the camera. Oh... Right, look, Holland Tiger in the sun. Oh man, I didn't even get to drink my tea. The things I do for you guys, seriously. Guys, it's a bit rough and ready. That is how sorties happen, they're busy. Unless you plan for them, okay, it can go really disastrously wrong. If you need to orbit first before you approach an airfield, put an orbit in, no one cares. You haven't got to rock in there. You don't want to rock in there in a really bad fashion, okay? You need to square yourself away um, with your rejoining checks and everything else, all right? Educational, not instructional. Um, I am going to DCS. I probably will start with the F5, I think. It, it doesn't, doesn't like fly like the Hawk or anything as such, but it's, um, I can talk to you about what the small, small wing and all that kind of stuff and what that does. DCS doesn't... DCS has its own... DCS looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. Um, when it comes to like weather and everything else, real-world weather and that kind of stuff, I haven't really got much knowledge on it. So I'll be learning this thing from, from new, really. I've flown on it once before with a group of guys... You know, so I start with a Harrier. I can start with a Harrier, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll start F5 Harrier. I'll do some do some jets. We'll, we'll chat it through. We'll chat it through. This video really though is about the importance, of course, of planning uh, and not pushing boundaries as well. So if you're trying to do aerobatics somewhere and the weather's not fit, get out of there. Do it another day. Don't push limits. You don't need to, all right? Guys, I hope you got enough out of this. All right. I'll try and get this out soon. Um, thanks so much, Tim Davies. <laughs> I'm knackered. I tell you. This is hard. This thing here is difficult. I tell you, it really is. Fast hit performance.